close your eyes, focus on your breath, know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. And try to stay focused each breath, each time it comes in, each time it goes out. We've got a reminder, keep focused, keep focused. Don't let things drift away, blur out. This is the way it is with all things good in life, is you have to stick with them. Because after all, we, the goodness we want in life is something we want all the time. We want, don't want there to be big gaps. You eat every day, you breathe every day. So you make sure that the mind does something good every day. And not just every day, each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. Because here's your opportunity to build your life, to create the conditions for your life. And so you want to make sure you're doing a good job. Don't let other things waylay you. This is why the Buddha teaches contentment. In other words, contentment with things over which you have no control. We don't have any control over the weather, so I so, say, well, that's the way it is. It's going to be hot right now, and in a little while it's going to be cold. But we can't let either the heat or the cold become an obstacle to our doing what's good. If you don't have the energy to go out and do a physical work, there are other ways of doing good that you can do each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. And you look around, you see other people may have things better than you have them. They have better jobs, better positions, better whatever. But that's their business. It's none of yours. Don't let that get you away late either. You want to make sure that you stay focused on the, the important thing in life is what you're doing. This is a question the Buddha has us ask. Days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? In other words, what kind of person are you becoming through your actions? Because the things that happen to you as a result of past actions, what other people have done, that's not the issue. That's just the wearing out of old karma. What you've got to be concerned about is what kind of person are you becoming with your new karma? What kind of attitudes are you developing? What kind of habits are you developing? Both outside and inside. These are things you have to ask yourself every day, every day. Because otherwise things start falling apart. And when things start falling apart, it's just like your goodness falls apart. The good things in life fall apart. Nobody wants it, and yet the causes for their falling apart, those are the things we allow to happen all the time. An airplane flies by, and all of a sudden the airplane is more interesting than washing your breath. Or what you're going to eat after them. After the service today, that becomes more interesting than the breath. You just can't let those things waylay. You've got to stay constant. You've got to stay consistent. If you're going to use your comparing mind, compare it with the kind of good that you want. Is it up to standard, the good that you're doing right now? It's not that the Buddha doesn't have you compare. You just need to learn how to compare the right things. Otherwise, don't compare. Well, today's hot. Yesterday, last week was cooler. We should go back to last week. Well, you can't do that. You can't go back to last week. But what you do have is an opportunity right now to do something good with a mind. This can be in terms of generosity, virtue. Right now, of course, it's the meditation. But each time you breathe in, think of it as an opportunity to do something good. And as you do something good over and over again, the kind of person you're becoming through your actions gets better and better. So if the Buddha were to come up and ask you, what kind of person are you becoming right now, you'd be able to answer him with pride, with confidence, that you're making the best progress that you can. So goodness is something you want to stick at. You don't want to learn how to have contentment for okay, the things that you can't control. But as the Buddha said, don't be content with the fact that you've gotten a little bit of concentration or a little bit of this or that in your practice, and you don't want to stop right there. He says, don't let yourself be content with just little bits of practice. You want to move on and on and on, get better and better. So if you're going to have a comparing mind, compare it with, today am I doing more than yesterday? Is it better than yesterday? If it's not, well, there's something to work on. That way you use your comparing mind for a good purpose, and rather than to destroy yourself, it actually becomes part of some part of a metal habit that makes you a better and better person every day. <laughs>